How's it going guys? So in today's tutorial, we're gonna be creating ground fog. It's actually very, very simple. It's just a couple nodes. So let's get into how to do that. All right, so we have this scene here. What I'll do is I'll just remove the ground fog. So if I remove it, you see we have all this grass and stuff and it's not really made the best. I kind of mocked this up, uh, this ground grass situation pretty quickly. And so I was thinking, okay, how do I make this look better without having to put hours of work into this? Cause this is for a client and I want it to look good. So I made this ground fog, which kind of covers up the lack of good design in a way, and also just adds a, a bit of an ambiance to the scene. So what I'll do is now create this here. So we'll go to the fog, and uh, first thing you need to do is create a box right here. So you'll get a cube and you'll squish it down uh, to be about that size. So it just needs to be cover up the scene you want, and it doesn't need to be huge. In fact, just squish it down and then control A and apply scale. So now that you have that, we'll head on over to shading and make this. So I'm just gonna take this string of nodes and delete it. So now we have nothing. So first thing we need to do is to get a volume node. So we'll shift A and get a principled volume right here. And then we'll plug the volume into the volume socket of the output. Now everything disappears and that's because it is just covering up the thing and that there's a lot of density. So we're gonna actually bring that density down to zero and we're only gonna be working with emission strength. So to actually control that emission strength, what we're gonna do is get a color ramp here and plug that color ramp here into the emission. Now what we need to do is to get a noise texture. So NOI in the search noise texture, plug the factor into the color ramp. Now, if you have the Node Wrangler add-on enabled, it comes with Blender by default, hit Control T and you'll just go to your preferences and add-ons and enable that if you don't have it, and we'll use the object coordinate. Now, we need to take this color ramp and start crunching it in this direction, so now we have control of our big fog scene. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my scale down here to one, and then I'm gonna put my uh, noise texture here at 4D. What that's gonna allow me to do is actually animate it here on the W if I actually want to animate it. I figured I'd add that to the tutorial for those of you working on your scenes, maybe you want to animate them. Okay, so now that we have this, it's you know encompassing the whole cube here and we don't want that. We want it to be just here in the bottom. And one thing you could do is just bring the cube down, but what that does is it creates a flat top on your, um, your fog and we don't want that. We want it to look like kind of real ground fog, how it's just sort of turbulently sitting on the bottom of our scene. And that's gonna be done with a gradient texture. So what I'll do is I'll just remove him for now and then I'm gonna get a gradient texture. So GR, gradient texture, plug in the vector here and the gradient texture color here. So now you can see he is just doing his thing right there and um, you can see he's over there. We don't want him to be there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to rotate my volume on the Y axis by negative 90. And now he's going up this direction and we already kind of have our ground fog. But again, it's still kind of a flat top. It is gradient, gradiented a little bit. And for some people, this might be all you need. And then you can take the white portion, I believe of the color ramp and bring it down. And then you can adjust the brightness of your emission. And now you technically have a good ground fog. Uh, but for me, I wanna add a little bit more detail in that. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix the noise texture with the gradient texture to make the top subtly turbulent. So we're gonna get a mix RGB. So MIX in the search, mix RGB and we'll plug the gradient on color two and plug the noise texture here on color one. And then what we can do now is if you play with the factor, you can bring it down like this. And now we have a more turbulent um, situation here that you can play with on this side to make it go up and down. And you can also play with the positioning. I believe that'll be on the X and you can bring it down on the X. So now we have a more turbulent ground fog that's a little bit more interesting than just having a flat regular gradient texture. So that is how you make a nice ground fog on whatever you're trying to do. It works really great for most situations and you play with that emission strength and all that fun stuff and you get a really cool, really interesting scene with some ground fog. So there you go. That's how you do that. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something.